Good morning, everybody! It's another Monday morning, and welcome to Mommy Guide Inc. For those who are new to my channel, I am Mommy Lala. And every Monday mornings, we talk about fitness. Okay? So this morning, we're going to talk about Skin Care 101 or Basic Skin Care. Um, ang problem with skin care, like for, for me, okay, anyways, um, I didn't really take skin care seriously for a very long time until I experienced um, surgically, surgically induced menopause. So when there I started to see yung nako nagsasag na yung face ko, sobrang dry na yung face ko, pati skin ko. So doon na ako nagpanic. So I eventually sought doctor's advice. So I went to my ob at the same time, my dermatologist. So today, uh, we, I am very blessed that uh, he is here with us today. So our guest for today, okay, um, is uh, a dermatologist. It's uh, He is Dr. Jesse Chua. He's a fellow Philippine Dermatolog Dermatological Society, as an associate inter uh, of International Society of Dermatology, specialist dermatologist of Health Authority, Abu Dhabi. He took his undergraduate in industrial pharmacy at the University of the Philippines, Manila, pursued his medicine at UPPGH and residency in UPPGH as well. Training in National Skin Center, Singapore, and presented papers in USA and Argentina, practiced in Abu Dhabi, UAE for eight years, and many more. Kaya lang po, inano ko na lang. Pinaiksik ko na lang po. And so... To help us with our talk to, for today, let's let's all welcome Dr. Jesse Chicho. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Good morning, Mommy Lala. Good morning, viewers of Mommy Guide. Oh, oh, salamat naman. Maski sobrang aga ginising kita, so that you can share. Oh, oh, with us today. Okay, so Doc, paano nga ba tong skin care? At kibakit namin okay. kailangan to? Ah, okay. So for the viewers, kamusta kayo lahat dyan? Hopefully, everybody's okay uh, with this pandemic. So kahit nasa bahay lang tayo, uh, we should take care of our skin. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily kung ano lang nilalagay natin, but more of what we take, uh, healthy habits. So mainly we'll talk about parang everything about skin care. Not only what you put on the skin, but mainly generally about skin care. Yeah, very excited. Sige, um, Samantha says, good morning po. Okay, good morning, Sam. Okay, so let's start. Good morning, Sam. Uh -oh. All right. All right. Okay. okay, so if you want, we'll start with Mami, Mami Lala. Yes, Dr. Jesse. Okay, so basically, this, is, this will be my outline for, the, for everything. So... Everybody will be asking, ano kasi yung skin type meron ako? So, yun yung pinaka-common na tinatanong ng mga tao, di ba? Ano skin type? Tapos, lahat nila sinasabi, may sensitive skin ako. Ano ba itong sensitive skin na, na tinatawag? Okay? So, as I've said earlier, not necessarily what we put on the skin, but also uh, kung ano yung pwede natin gawin to make a healthier skin. Okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, ito lang yung skin natin microscopically. Okay. So it is the largest organ in our body. Okay. So for an adult person, in weight ng, ng person, it accounts approximately 6%. So medyo mabigat siya. Okay. So mainly we have the layers. Akala niyo yung skin is very basic lang. Mm -hmm. Kung tinignan mo microscopically, you can see different different uh kita doon okay yan okay so mainly what our skin for okay? so first since it protects the body so it serves as a protection okay protection from the sun protection from external injuries mainly protection okay mm -mm. tapos sa skin natin meron tayong uh, mga temperature it regulates our temperature kaya di ba pag pupunta ka sa mall Mm -mm. We think it can temperature through the skin. Okay? Yes, no. So, temperate, no. it, it, it acts as it acts also as a tactile organ, sensory organ. So, when you touch it, you can feel something. And of course, temperate, important for us, it defines also our beauty and personal appearance. Of course. 
Uh, so now, uh, iba sabi nila, I don't want to age. Diba? So hindi pwede yun. But we have, we have to age gracefully. Yes. So we'll just compare ano ba ang baby skin versus the aging skin. So as we grow older, okay, our skin becomes thinner and easily damaged. Okay? Bakit? Because it decreases the ability, uh, it decreases the skin, the ability to, to heal itself as we go, as we age. Okay? So, syempre, uh, the elasticity, we call the elasticity of our skin. So, if ever you, if we grow older, when you touch the skin, hindi na siya masyadong elastic. Okay? So, why? Because there's decreased blood flow to the skin and our glands, yung mga oil glands natin, hindi na siya masyadong co-function, kaya medyo dry na rin siya. Okay? So how about we compare man and women's skin? Okay? So men's skin are usually thicker, so mas makapal ang skin ng ng men. Okay. So since mas makapal siya, so when we touch it, it's more firm. So parang mas matigas ang skin ng men compared to women. Okay. So they notice also mas malamig ang collagen and elastin elastin levels. Okay. But in contrast to that, mas malalaki ang pores ng men. So male skin has larger pores, richer in blood supply, and more active produces glands. So, pag nagkita mong male skin, medyo malalaki ang pores, medyo oily, because active ang sebaceous glands nila. So, this is just a safe, we can say, all of us can have a healthy, beautiful skin no matter what age, race, and color. We just have to take care of it, okay? So, the secret is understanding what our skin needs, okay? So, later I will tell you kung ano skin ka, kung ano kailangan ng skin to make it healthy and maintain it to be beautiful. Okay. Okay? So, let's go to the skin type. So, usually, tatanungin kami, Anong type ng skin ko? So, kayo rin makakasagot niyan. Okay? So, we'll just ask you some questions to, can, to, to confirm ano talaga ng skin type niya rin ka. Okay? So, the usual skin type, usually, you have your normal, you have your dry, the oily, and combination. Okay? So, we'll get through to this. So, what is normal skin? So, normal skin, skin is sabihin, normal siya. So, there's proper balance between oil and moisture. Okay? So, again, it is not dry. So usually you see it as clear, supple, and healthy skin. Okay, even if you have normal skin, okay, it it you still have to get to have a good skin care. Okay, you have to maintain. Okay, but comparing to other skin care, other skin type, it requires less treatment. Okay. So kailangan pa rin doc, no? Hindi pwedeng porky normal skin ka, hindi ka na mag-aalaga. Correct. Okay, so we have to, important is really maintenance. Okay, yun ang sinasabi natin. Maintenance to maintain a good skin. Okay? So let's go to the opposite of, uh, uh, to the dry, dry side, the dry skin. Okay, so bakit ka nakaka dry skin? So your skin cannot retain moisture. Okay? So usually when you take a look of take a look at it, meron siyang flaking. So it may flake. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ang problem with dry skin, it's prone to have wrinkles. Okay? That's me. So usually, <laughs> wrinkles, yeah, wrinkles and lines. Okay? So an important tip for this one is to have a regular moisturizer. Okay? So if your skin is dry, moisturizers are very important for your skin. Okay? Uh, in babies, pag nakikita kang, and not only adult skin, syempre in babies mm-hmm. also, we call it cirrhosis, yung very dry skin, kasi very low ang sebum nila. Okay, so sebum it's our uh, it's our skin's natural lubricant, so it it maintains our skin's uh, uh, moisture. Okay, as it does not have enough sebum, it dries out easily. Okay, suppose it cannot retain the amount of moisture needed for a healthy skin. Okay, so a number of factors, so not necessarily internal, sometimes external. Then, so shampre weather. Okay, uh, not common here in the Philippines. If it's winter, very cold season, so nagda-dry ang skin. Another contribution for that is the heat. Okay, so the heat, syempre maging now, they, they, they put heat so it dries the mouth of the skin also. Okay, so sometimes sa atin, when we take a bath, when we use hot, 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 hot water or sometimes harsh soaps, it also dries our skin. Okay, another contribution to this one is, of course, diet and smoking can cause dry, dryness of the skin. So in the other parts of the country, my, my winter, it dries up your skin. Hot baths also dries up your skin. Smoking dries up your skin. Okay? So, 
uh, as doctors, when we see uh, dry skin, it can be a symptom of other conditions, so, such as this one. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, ikaw lala, di ba, may thyroid problem ka before, right? Yes. So, sometimes you have dry skin also with this one. Mm-hmm. Okay? And also, dry skin comes common as we age. Kasi nga, as we age, it decreases the sebum production of our skin. Andiyan na rin ako. <laughs> no, di ba, as we aging. Okay? So, usually, dry skin moisturizer. Okay? So, there are a number of things you can do for effective, uh, to, to decrease your dry skin. Okay? So, number one, if, you take, if you're taking a bath, it should be warm. Okay? Not hot. Because hot baths dries up the skin. Okay? So, if you're taking a shower, it doesn't mean na mas matagal ka sa shower, mas malinis ka. Not, 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 not true also. Okay? So, if ever you're taking a shower, it should be as short as possible. Okay? Tapos, if you're using soap, use a soap that is not harsh. Okay? So, ito lang yung sample ng mga dry skin natin na nakikita. Okay? Okay. Uh, on the other part of the spectrum, oily skin naman. So, we're finished with the dry. So, oily. But nagkakaroon ng oily skin. Okay? Oily skin is over secretion of sebum. Okay? So, excess oil in the surface of the skin. Okay? Uh, on the downside of oily skin, you develop pimples. Okay? So, an important skin care for oily skin is cleaning, okay? So, washing is important for, for, for oily skin, okay? So, as you notice, nagka-oily skin tayo usually at the age group of hormonal imbalance, usually teenagers, okay? So, nagkakaroon ng uh, abnormal hormonal. So, sometimes your sebum is uh, excess because of hormonal imbalance then, okay? So, teenagers begin noticing oily skin as, as soon as they reach puberty, Okay? So, oily skin. Pangit sa oily skin because you get pimples. Okay? So, others naman, they, they come to you, they say, ah, Doc, meron akong dry skin tsaka oily skin. Oops, so, it's sorry. more, we call it a combination skin. Okay? So, uh, as the term implies, combination, it's a combination of both oily and dry skin. Okay? So, usually, we notice the forehead, the nose, and the chin in the T-zone. Usually, uh, yun ang oily. Okay? And the other parts, like the cheeks, uh, area are dry. Okay? So in this type of skin, uh, each area should be given the right skin care that is needed for that type of skin. Okay? So kung combination skin ka, you have, to treat this, you have to treat it both as an oily and a dry skin. Uh, so walang one, one ano lang, kailangan... Walang, walang one shot deal for that one. Okay? Okay. So others naman, they come to you, they say, Doc, sensitive ang skin ko. So what is sensitive skin? Okay? So when we say sensitive skin, low tolerance to level of certain products or environmental conditions, okay? So yung iba, napapansin nila when they put a certain product sa skin nila, mabilis ma-irritate, okay? Even if they say, doc, hypoallergenic nilalagay ko, parang ganun-ganun, nagkakaroon pa rin ng, ano, ng, ng irritation, okay? So they may react quickly to chemicals, tapos sometimes yung iba, lumabas lang, sabi nila, nagkakarashes na agad. So heat and wind also, so those are sensitive skin, Okay? So usually, how do you see this one? So they red, they develop red, blotchy, and irritated skin. Okay. So it, uh, different type of people have different uh, kinds of sensitivity. So yung iba very mild lang, may redness lang. Yung iba grabe, as in talagang very very red. Sometimes uh, may kaka pimples na den. Okay. So what is sensitive skin? So yun nga, not all people are the same. So some people may react to the product while others do not react to a product. Okay. So others, we have a severe reaction, others mild reaction lang, okay? So usually when people have sensitive skin, their, their main problem is usually uncomfortable sila at med- medyo nahihiya sila sa skin nila, okay? Mm. So what can, uh, how can we deal with sensitive skin? So usually if, if we take it to consideration, sometimes diet, mm. uh, ang big part, that's why they have uh, sensitive skin, okay? So... Others, they, uh, we just recommend them a healthy diet. It will help their skin look look better. Okay, so if even healthy yung food nila, even sensitive skin sila, nakakareak pa rin. So important really is to tell them the triggers, okay, of the possible uh, sensitivity to their skin. Okay, but mostly uh, we see hot and spicy food as our triggers to sensitive skin. Okay. So also, we, uh, if you want a healthy skin, uh, you should drink lots of water, proper hydration, okay? So uh, our skin is a very large organ, so it, it needs to be hydrated also, 
Okay. Doc, yung sa, so ano, water. Water talaga. Hindi pwedeng like, ila, juice, ganyan, in, in lieu of... Uh, juice juice is okay. Uh, tea is not recommended kasi tea, decre- uh, more of diuretic and coffee. Uh, in moderate amount, it's good kasi may antioxidant sila. Pero in excess, uh, when you, may diuretic effect nila, so it dries up the skin also. So uh, anything na like excess naman is bad. Eh, okay, but... Tea and coffee has antioxidant. It's good for your skin, but in excess, it's not. Uh, juice is good, but the problem with juice, it has uh, sugar in it. So again, excess in sugar is bad also. Okay. Okay. So uh, here are examples of uh, what we what we need to take in to maintain a healthy skin. Okay. So usually we need omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. So omega-3 fatty acids uh, helps our skin maintain to be healthy, okay? Examples are this one, are your seafoods, such as your tuna, mackerel, and sardines, okay? Vitamin A also is good for the skin. So our beta-carotene, you can see this one in sweet potato, carrots, mango, and spinach. So not only, uh, uh, so healthy foods help also to make our skin healthy, okay? So another... Uh, you, you, you hear now zinc. Zinc is important, especially now na may COVID tayo, di ba? So uh, zinc acts as a cofactor, okay? So it prevents virus. Zinc also helps also to, to help maintain a healthy skin, okay? So again, you can get zinc on your fresh fruits, vegetables, okay? So again, water, tea, it helps also to maintain with our uh, healthy skin. Okay, vitamin A is a very good vitamin for healthy skin. Okay, not only for the skin, but it also helps for your eyes, diba? So vitamin E is good also for your eyes, okay? It helps strengthen the skin and repair our tissues, okay? It can be taken in food such as supplement or such as topical cream. So meron tayong creams ngayon na may vitamin A, uh, such as your retinoids, okay? So vitamin A can also prevent dry skin and it helps in acne, okay? Vitamin A also helps also treatment for wrinkles, okay? So which foods are good in vit- uh, source of your vitamin A? So you have your eggs, your milk, liver, carrots, mango, spinach, and sometimes your breakfast cereals has vitamin A already. Okay. Another antioxidant we need is vitamin E. Okay. So it is an antioxidant, so it scavenges, so it, it reduces free radical damage to the skin. Okay. So vitamin E is a good vitamin to take when your skin is suffering from some damage from the skin and other factors. So very good, uh, siya, vitamin E is good for the sun, for especially for sun damage also, okay? So uh, vitamin E rich foods, you have your almonds, your, your seeds, your sunflower seeds, peanut butter, hazelnuts, your, some of the oil, such as your sunflower oil, some vegetables such as your spinach, broccoli, and some fruits, which is your mango. So again, vitamin C, ngayon, vitamin C is very in nowadays because of the virus, okay? So vitamin C helps with healing wounds, so... Usually, yung iba na may, may sugat, okay, so we recommend vitamin C because it helps more of the healing of skin damage, okay? So it rejuvenates also the skin, okay? So vitamin C, as now, it helps boost our immune system also. So vitamin C-rich foods, your citrus fruits, okay? So you have your oranges, your grapes, your mandarins, some vegetables, you have your lettuce, your spinach, and of course, Green peppers is very rich in vitamin C. Some fruits also, strawberries, tomatoes, and your veggies, your cabbage. So vitamin B vitamins also helps for a healthy skin, okay? So it's a good vitamin for relieving stress. And so in many, prevent some of the skin problems, okay? So another cause of your skin problems is usually stress, diba? So we want to decrease stress. So vitamin B vitamins help decrease stress, okay? So... <laughs> Foods rich in vitamin D, you have your oatmeal, your wheat, your bran, okay? some dairy products, your milk, liver, uh, kidney, fish, and eggs. So now zinc. Zinc is the element we need nowadays. Okay, so zinc helps to skin the skin's natural healing process. So same with vitamin C, it helps with the healing process repair of our skin. Okay. So it zinc now is also being used to, to decrease the production of sebum. So Sometimes yung mga may people, people with acne, okay? So we added zinc to decrease the sebum production also, okay? So now, like your vitamin C, zinc also helps in the immune system, okay? So zinc-rich foods, you have your dairy products. Your, uh, it's high in your beans and lentils, nuts, cereals, and pumpkin seeds, okay? 
So besides these vitamins, important is hydration. Okay. So skin hydration is very important, especially for people with dry skin. Okay. Drinking lots of water is one way of keeping skin hydrated. Okay. So a better way is to drink water to keep your skin hydrated. Okay. Uh, the good thing with water, it also brings nutrients to the skin. Okay. So if you're properly dehydrated, uh, the nutrients goes to your skin also. Okay. So I think tinom kanina lala. So what what do we have? What we avoid? We avoid dehydrating drinks such as your cola, coffee, and alcohol. Okay. So dehydrating sila because they are, they are diuretic. So if you if if papa ihi sa yon, <clears throat> so pag umihi ka na di dehydrate ka lalo. Okay. Another important to help maintain our skin is sleep. Okay. Oh, so hindi pa din nagpupuyat palagi. Okay. Getting a good night's sleep is important for healthy skin care. Okay. As people sleep, skin rejuvenate. It takes place and cells undergo a process of repair. So when we sleep, uh, not only we relax, it repairs some of our skin, skin uh, cells, uh, also. cells also. Okay. Okay. So this is important this because is important this is the time when the skin is restored and recovers from any harm. Okay. So important sleeping time, six to eight hours. Ooh. Okay. So... For skincare, uh, so we're, we're done with, with uh, what we can do to in, internally to help our skincare. So now, what are the things we can add externally? So ano nilalagyan natin sa balat natin that can keep our skin looking healthy? Okay? Oh, so healthier skin looks better, gives you great confidence, and protects your body. Siyempre, if you, get, if you have a healthy looking skin, parang it boosts up your confidence. Okay? Yeah, I agree. Usually, uh, if you ask around or naririnig nyo, ito usually ang um, nare-recommend for skincare regimen, okay? So cleansing, so you you heal, you heal you hear them always clean, toning, sabi nila, ano yung toning na yan? Moisturizing, tapos may exfoliation pa, ano kaya itong exfoliating na to and sun protection? So we'll go, we'll go with this one step by step. Okay? Okay. So it's a skincare so regimen, it's, it's not it's good for all, it's, that, it's like just a guide of what you can do to your skin, okay? So, ikaw rin magsasabi kung anong kailangan mo for your skin. But these are just guidelines of what you can use and what products to avoid. Okay? So, important, very important is cleansing. Okay? Why, why do we need to wash our face? Okay? So, it removes dirt, bacteria, and dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. Okay? It is a one, one of the most important things we can do to help keep our skin looking healthy and beautiful. So without cleansing, our faces would develop a buildup of materials that would make our faces dirty, shiny, and dull. So really important is cleansing. So everybody, if your skin is dry, uh, oily, combination sensitive, cleansing is really important. Okay. So the bacteria and dirt on our face would also increase and the risk of bacterial infection leading to skin problems like acne. Okay. Cleansing is particularly important for people with oily skin who have excess oil on their face, which attracts dirt and debris. Okay. So really important is cleansing. It removes bacteria. It removes oil. Uh, it helps maintain your skin to be balanced. Okay. So again, cleansing not only on the face, but of course, body cleansing is important. Okay. So we have a big organ of our skin. So not only focus on the face, but also the whole body skin. Okay? Yes, I agree, Doc. Ayan na. Okay. So, ito na. So, if you go to the market, maraming types of cleansers available. Okay? So, it depends on their detergent, detergent, moisturizing, emollients, and other ingredients. Okay? Detergents, usually, ito yung nagkakadry ng skin natin. So, now, there are cleansers that are moisturizing also. Okay? So, selecting the right type of cleanser depends on your skin type. Okay? So, if you have sensitive skin, use a sensitive type of cleansing. If you have oily skin, you can use the one with oily skin. So, kung dry skin ka, you can use a cleanser with, with moisturizers. Okay? So, again, it depends on your skin type. So, so hindi nang pala alaan marketing something yun na when we see products that assess for sensitive skin or oily yes. skin. So, talaga palang totoo yun. <laughs> Formulated. Okay, pero, oh, oh. Siyempre, you have to try. Ako sinasabi ko, these are cosmetics, so it's a trial and error. So nobody fits in the in the product or lahat. So trial and error pa rin siya. Okay? So ito lang yung sinasabi ko. Usually, if you're buying cleansers, okay, you, you read the labels also. Okay? So tayo as pharmacists, siyempre alam natin to. Pero yung mga lay people, mahirap. So I always tell them, read the label also. Okay? So which are 
kahit anong skin type ka, you should avoid yung sodium laurel sulfate. Okay? So, SLS ang tinatawag natin dyan. Okay? So, ito uh, kasi yung nakakos ng decrease ng oiliness ng skin. But, important ang SLS for oily skin. Okay? Kasi ito talaga very harsh. Ito talaga kailangan tanggalin. Oo, hindi tanggalin. So, if you want to be sensitive o kaya dry skin, avoid this one. Alright. Doc, wait lang ha. Ang dami ng questions. Update lang ako. Guys, let's just... I know I'm keeping tabs of all your questions. So, they're all coming in from Mami Guide Inc. Facebook and then YouTube. And then yung mga nandun pong nagpo-post sa aking personal account, hindi ko po yun maibabato kay Doc. Kaya dapat po yun kayo mag-ask sa Mami Guide Inc. page ko or through my YouTube para po maibato natin kay Doc kay Doc Jesse. Alright? So, don't worry. Papatapusin lang mo natin yung, yung, yung steps ni Doc and then, puro na tayo Q&A. Alright? Okay, okay. Go ahead, Doc. Okay. So, yan. So, mainly for for soaps, you have to avoid sodium laurel unless your skin is oily. Okay? So, boys on your face, gently apply cleanser all over your face for half a minute just to forget it. So, yung iba kasi, when they clean, So, ano, uh, water, soap, tapos banlaw agad, okay? So, you have to lather everything. You have to clean, okay? Tapos, important also is to rinse thoroughly with water until no residues is left, okay? Pat your face dry, okay? Yung iba kasi, when they clean their face, nirarub nila, okay? So, patting is important para hindi rin ma-irritate your skin, okay? So, let's go to the next step, toning. So, yung iba... Pag pumupunta ka, oh, you need a toner. You need a toner. Tapos, uh, marami sa market, marami toners na rin. Okay? So, what is a toner? Okay? So, toner usually rem removes traces of dirt and debris that are left after cleansing. So, yung iba, uh, after cleaning, oily pa rin ang skin. So, usually, toners help for that one. Okay? So, again, after you're washing your face, di ba, yung pH ng skin natin nag-iba agad. So, the toner helps restore back the natural pH of our skin. Okay? It helps tighten pores so that there is less chance of infection and acne. And a good toner can tone up the skin and make it appear smoother. Okay? So, yan, yan ang characteristic of a toner. Okay? But again, toners are not always recommended. Okay? Because uh, some toners contain alcohol or witch hazel, which is very drying. So again, toners are very advisable if you have uh, oily skin. Okay? But if you have dry or sensitive skin, maybe you can skip the toning part of the regimen. Ah, okay, Doc. Akala ko normally when they, ano kasi the product market, sometimes it's a complete thing with a toner in it. Yun nga eh. So, hindi yun siya. So, it's more of marketing lang sa kanila yan. So, kailangan mag-ask pa rin sa derma, no? For proper. Yes. Oo. So, yun. Okay? So, usually, ang toners are alcohol-based, okay? So, because if your skin is still oily, so give alcohol-based to remove the oil, okay? So, if ever you see, if your skin is dry and if you still want a toner, they have alcohol-free toner, which also helps for other types of skin type, okay? So, if you have an oily skin that after cleansing, it remains sticky or oily, you might benefit from applying a toner after cleansing. Okay, so we have two finished. Uh, we have your cleansing, we have your toner, okay? Now we go for moisturizing, okay? So what are moisturizers? So moisturizers help hydrate the skin and prevent it from further moisture loss, okay? It can also provide a protective barrier to stop moisture from escaping from the skin, okay? Moisturizing lo lotion help replace that lo lost moisture. It is a very important for people with dry skin. Okay, so again, uh, if you have very, uh, if you have dry skin, this step is very important for you. Okay, so it help it it helps maintain the moisture of the skin. Okay, so if you feel you need to moisturize, make sure you pick the right type of moisturizers for your skin type. Okay, usually moisturizing the skin is thought to be an essential step in daily skincare. It is not the truth, okay? So again, you need a moisturizer depending on your skin type, okay? If your skin type is oily, no need for moisturizer, okay? Uh, kaya lang naman na usong moisturizer kasi in other parts of the country, which is uh, like the weather, so like winter, which is dry ang, dry ang, 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 ang environment, that's why they need moisturizers palagi. Okay. Dito sa atin naman, it's usually wet and dry lang naman. So usually, pag oily ang skin mo, talaga no need for moisturizing. Okay? 
So oily skin does not need to be moisturized because there is already abundant of emollient in the sebum they produce. Okay? So oily lang skin mo, no need for moisturizing. Okay? Normal skin usually do not require external moisturizers because they do produce enough sebum and sufficient emollients. However, under dry conditions or excessive water exposure, a suitable moisturizer should be also applied to prevent development of dry skin. So like now, like our weather now, kumari mainit. So if, if you have normal skin, pwede mag-dry din siya. Okay? So other conditions, syempre iba, nagsiswimming din. Okay? So if you go swimming, nagda-dry din ang skin. So you can benefit from moisturizer even if you have a normal type of skin. Okay? So if, you have, if your skin is really dry, Moisturizing really is important, okay? So, yung iba naman na may combination skin, so important to, to moisturize the dry areas, okay? So, moisturizing improves the skin barrier also kasi pag nagdagay ka ng moisturizer, parang may film sa skin mo, okay? So, it acts as a barrier also. Okay, so now we, 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 we hear also exfoliating. You have to exfoliate, you have to exfoliate your skin, okay? So what is exfoliating? So exfoliating removes the surface layer of the skin along with any dirt, debris, and dead skin, dead, dead skin cells, okay? It provides a more thorough, clean than cleansing. So para exfoliating, sa sabi natin, deeper clean, okay? So it removes the top layer of the skin, helps a new healthy skin to appear, okay? So usually, exfoliating, ito yung mga scrubs na nakikita natin in the market, okay? For me, I don't recommend daily exfoliating, okay? So if you want to exfoliate, at least once a week. Kasi if you, ex uh, if you exfoliate daily, uh, you want new skin to produce, okay? Pero pag everyday ka, wala nang new skin na naproproduce. So it's important to have, ano rin, uh, tagmodal may gap during exfoliation, okay? Doc, so paano mag dry skin? Dry skin ka na, mag-exfoliate pa rin kami. Pwede rin. Uh, basta important after this one, if your skin is really dry, important really is your moisturizer. Mm. Okay? So, you can do these steps, but uh, you should take note kung anong skin type ka, kung ano yung pinaka-important na step, yun ang talagang ilalagay mo. Okay? So, even if you have dry skin, you can do exfoliation para at least maging clear yung skin mo. Then, after that, you have to put moisturizers. Okay, Doc. Okay? So, our la last step is sun protection. Okay? So, Dito sa atin, very maaraw. So, we really need sun protection. I think usually now, overlook lahat ng tao the sun protection, which is the most important for me. Okay? So, sunlight damages the skin. Okay? So, it contributes for skin wrinkling, aging, as well as the risk of skin cancer. Okay? Sa atin naman, as Filipinos, not a risk of skin cancer, pero mayroon pa rin tayong skin cancer nakikita dito sa Philippines. Okay? So, use a good sunscreen after thorough cleansing and moisturizing. So sunscreen is any substance or material that protects the skin from UV radiation. So maraming forms of sun protection. So you have your lotion, cream, ointment, gel, spray, okay, salve, stick. Okay, so it uh, this this uh forms depends on your skin type also. Okay. Okay. So important is to avoid the sun the sun during high intensity hours, usually 10 to 4 p.m. Okay. But if you can't avoid this one, really important is you have to put your sun protection. Okay? Okay. So you have to use, uh, so what is SPF? SPF is a sun protection factor, okay? So what we usually recommend is an SPF 24 or higher, okay? Mm -hmm. So what does SPF mean? SPF means uh, that number of times you are protected. So kunwari, if ever, example, nagpunt, nag, uh, lumabas ka sa, sa sun without any sun protection, you get sunburned within one minute. Wow. Okay? So, if you put sun protection, uh, maybe you will get the sunburn after 24, even an SPF 24, so, you're, so you are 24 times protected. So, maybe after 24 minutes, pag ka sa sunburn. The question, yung po ba okay. mga sun protection creams or what have you ng products, Pwede ba yan, maski anong part ng skin? Basta sinabing for sun protection, pwede ba sa face? Yung pwede sa, yung face pwede ba sa katawan? Yung katawan pwede sa face? Yes, pwede yan. It depends lang on the skin. Kasi yung lotion, usually we give it for oily. Or yung lotion, since ano siya, very pliable, better siya sa whole body. So usually sa face, since it's a small area, we just recommend the cream. Pero kung oily ang skin mo and you don't want the cream, you can apply the lotion then. And now we have the gel forms also. So it really depends on your 
skin type and the area. So, kung mara, meron ka namang sa unscreen na cream, hindi mo pwede ilagay sa body kasi marami kang magagamit. Okay? So, for the body, we usually recommend the lotion or the spray. Pero for the face, uh, we usually recommend the cream. Okay? So, ang important for sun protection is at least you apply it 30 minutes before you go out. Okay? So, yung iba kasi, sabi nila, nag-sunscreen ako pero nasanggol pa rin ako. That means, hindi siya nakastay sa skin for long time possible, okay? So, at least 30 minutes before you go out, okay? If you're outside, it's really important to reapply, okay? Especially if you go swimming. So, now, magsa-summer na, di ba? So, everybody's going to the beach, going to the pool. So, you have to reapply. So, it doesn't mean if you apply once, it will last you for the whole day, no. Okay? So, if you're going swimming and, syempre ngayon, mainit, nagsisweat tayo, you have to reapply it every two hours. Okay? So, ang pinaka-important na spots na usually we, we miss out is the, the ears, sa tenga, okay, the nose, so and the cheek. So, usually, ito yung pinaka-prone sa sunburn. Okay? So, if you're going to apply sunscreen in this area, I'll apply many as, as many as possible. Okay? Mm. So, you, you don't be... Uh, Huwag kang matipid pag naglalagay ng sunscreen. Okay? Okay. Oh, oh. As many as possible. Oh, oh. Normally, like ako, pag sinabi mong ano, once lang ako nag apply let's say, nag-swimming or lumabas, once lang, is that enough for the whole day? No. If you go oh. swimming every two hours talaga, kasi nawa-wash off siya. Tapos, oh, oh. especially pag nasa labas ka, pag yung activity mo is active, yung nagpapawis ka, nawawala din siya. So, really important is to reapply it. Okay? So, not only sunscreens are important, we need sun protection in other ways then. Okay? Like protective clothing. Okay? So, we can protect our skin through clothes also. Okay? So, we can wear long sleeve shirts, pants, and hats. Okay? So, sa fabric naman, we we advise tightly woven fabrics. Okay? So, such as denim are better than loosely woven fabrics such as knits. Okay? So, we'll just give you a... This so after that one, this is just the summary. Okay, so matatap sa tayo. So what I've discussed before. Okay, so of course not only external but internal, such as sufficient sleep, fresh air, after water intake, exercise. You have to relax. Okay, proper proper diet and daily intake of your antioxidants. Okay. So, skin care is important. It doesn't have to be ex difficult or expensive kasi marami nang mamahalin dyan, di ba? So, alamin mo lang. So, just know the right type of skin and which uh, which uh, steps na kailangan ng skin mo. Okay? So, again, I tell them, try different products to find out which works best for you. Okay? So, different products, different uh, ingredients yan. So, it's a trial and error thing. Okay? So when cleansing your skin, don't forget to body cleanse as well. Okay, so it is important as facial cleansing skin care. Okay, so providing the right skin care will keep your skin looking healthy and beautiful. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Doc. All right. So Doc, Doc. Okay. Okay. Ah, ang haba na doy doy questions. Oh, I didn't want to disturb your ano kasi ang ganda na nung nung ano mo eh, very uh, informative kaya sabi ko, o sige, mamaya na ako sisingit, alright so first and foremost, okay, so a lot of, I'm monitoring from three, <laughs> three different sites, alright, so okay. yun muna sa personal ko um, Kathy Antonio Torel, okay uh, are saying hi okay, um, Kathleen Cordial also says hi okay, and then, eto yung mga nandito sa YouTube Okay, so good morning po, Doc and Doc Doctor Jesse Chua and Lala. Good morning po. Morning. Oh, and also, ah, yung mga good morning mo na, no tatapusin ko sila. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Okay, Kathy Chua. Okay, and another one, Ime. Okay, Miss Ime Solis. Good morning po. Okay, and Amor. Good morning. Okay, Danny also says good morning. Patricia says good morning. Okay, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thanks for joining us this early in the morning. Okay, so let's start off the questions po. Okay, so let's try with Lovey. Doc, ang sabi niya. Ah, okay. Kasi yung question niya. 
Ah, uh, good morning, Dr. Jesse. I have pimples because of using face mask. Okay, so what do you recommend to use po? Skin care to lessen pimples while using face mask. So meron din pong another person who asked that, no? Danny Ong also asked the same thing, Doc. Okay, so Lovi, uh, ngayon kasi because of the COVID, it's really important for us to use talaga the face mask, okay? Ang problem sa face mask natin is sometimes meron siyang latex, okay? So usually the latex causes the pimples dun sa area kung saan nakalagay yung mask natin. So usually, I just recommend, usually, uh, before wearing the mask, is you, you put a protective cover. So yung iba sinasabi ko, you put a tissue or a handkerchief before you uh, before putting the mask, okay? Para at least hindi siya nagko-contact sa skin, uh, less, irritation, less irritation, less pimples. Okay, so that's one uh, precaution we have to do first. Okay. Kasi if you don't do that, pabalik-balik talaga yung pimples natin, okay? So for treatment wise, yung iba uh, with prevention, nalilesen na yung pimples. Okay? But if ever nagpa-persist pa rin yung pimples mo, so we'll treat it as pimples talaga. Pero syempre, number one pa rin is still prevention. Kasi if you don't prevent it, you just do treatment, pabalik-balik pa rin siya. Mm -hmm. So for treatment for pimples, maybe we can give some uh, like benzoyl for the pimples for that one. So it it's a case-to-case -case basis pa rin. Uh -oh. So yun po, no? so more of general questions lang po tayo no? kasi kapag talagang very, uh, kumbaga, uh, yung questions very, ano tayo, tawag doon, doc, specific, kailangan yun na po talagang yeah. mag-consult. Uh -oh. uh -oh. So, okay, so I hope that answers your question, at least in the beginning, so preventive measures pa rin, no, love you. Uh -oh. Okay, and doc, um, ito pa yung iba, kasi, kasi ano, ano kung saan ako mag-uumpisa. Alright, let's do for Canada, doc. Ang sabi niya, um, is there a specific facial soap that's good for teenagers or again skin type pa din do? Oh, yeah. So for teenagers usually uh, nagiging oily na yung skin nila. Okay? So usually uh, cleansers is really important for them. So again, I tell them trial and error pa rin ang mga moist ang cleansers natin eh. So marami sa market so, you can try any, tapos, if ever hindi, you have to shift to another one. So, usually teenagers, because uh, of the hormonal imbalance na nangyayari sa kanila, really important is cleansing. Yun ang pinaka-important para ma-prevent talaga ang pimples. So, for the type of cleansers, I always tell them trial and error. So, if oily ang skin, mm -hmm. uh, better any type of soap is is okay. Mm, okay. Basta for oily, Doc, no? Wow. Oh, that's for oily. Doc, may follow-up yes. dun sa mask uh, issue. Okay. Oh, oh. From Danny Ong, uh, for people with sensitive skin, may, meron specific facial mask? Um, um, as long as they don't have them. Kasi ang problema kasi sa facial mask, di ba that may rubber siya, it has latex. Mm -mm. Sorry, Doc. Usually latex ang nakakos ng irritation. So ngayon sa market, uh, marami naman siyang facial mask ngayon. Pero ang problem ngayon, I usually recommend the cloth mask. But na, but if you use that one, hindi siya acceptable for COVID. Okay? Oh. So I don't recommend pay. Or so if you want, you can put the cloth mask. Then on top of that, you can still put the uh, surgical mask. Para at least hindi lang siya in contact to your skin to prevent the irritation. So mainly is to avoid contact of the facial mask to your skin. So if you can prevent that one, better. So... If you're looking for, for alternatives, I don't recommend the just the plain cloth mask, okay? So you have to put the cloth mask on. Tapos on top of that, you should put your other mask. Okay, Doc. Thank you so much. Doc, another question right now. now uh, any advice for, po for back knee? I think she meant acne. back acne. Yeah, okay. Right. okay, so for people with back acne, uh, the still, uh, syempre, hormonal pa rin yung iba. So if you're a teenager, usually hormonal yan. Tapos another cause for back acne is usually because of the hair. Okay, so hair care products, uh, like uh, yung iba naglalagay ng gel, conditioner, usually conditioner also. So better, uh, it's more of the hair. Okay, so mm -hmm. I always advise them after taking a bath, make sure you clean the back. Okay, so any conditioners or shampoo left na nagdidrip sa back that causes your back acne. Okay, so it's more of irritation pa din. So prevention of that one is proper cleaning your hair, thoroughly rinsing your conditioner, and uh, 
avoid using hair products that can touch your back that causes your pimples. So okay. mainly that's your advice for that one. All right. Thank you, Doc. Doc from another doctor, <laughs> Doc Tammy. Okay. You, you mentioned that vitamin is good for the skin. What is your take, okay. Doc Jesse, on vitamin C serum being applied to the skin? Applied to the is it as effective? So can you say that injectable vitamins are better? Okay, so for vitamin C, marami tayong uh, products na dyan, di ba? Let's go for the oral. Oral vitamin C is okay. So, so y- y- yung bang budget, may budget. So, any vitamin C tablet can help. Okay? So, now we have the topicals, yung mga vitamin C serum na nakikita natin. Vit- vitamin C serum is very good. Okay? So, it's an antioxidant. So, usually, I recommend it. So, yung may... May budget, vitamin C is very good for the skin, okay? The topical one, okay? So, number one, it protects your skin. So, pag nilagay mo siya, if you go out, sun, sun exposure. So, it's a free radical scavenger na agad, okay? Mm-hmm. So, maganda na siya. For the injectable, so, it's good also because the, uh, the availability of your vitamin C is already through your system already compared to the oral, which undergoes absorption. Tapos hindi rin siya yung full na na-absorb din. So if you have the injectable, it's good also because it's already good. It's already inside your system. Okay. So for your question, so all are good. Okay. Uh, one has no, ad- one has no, parang mas pinaka-benefit ka. Pero the topical ones uh, in dermatology is very good kasi it really protects your skin right away, tapos it rejuvenates your skin also. But uh, the only thing you avoid that in sa topical na vitamin C, sometimes it irritates the skin. So hanapin mo rin yung percentage, how many percent of vitamin C is in the serum because the higher the vitamin C, it also irritates the skin. All right. Thank you, Doc. Okay, grabe. Very, ano, ano, uh, very detailed ang sagot ni Doc. No, lahat ng, ano, inano niya na, aura. <laughs> Double zero, go. All right, Doc, may follow up si Doc Tami. Okay, it will okay. benefit teens also when they follow this advice, okay, that you said. Po. But because of hormonal changes, is it okay to tell them that this will not get guaranteed really improve if they are acne prone? Uh, what do you mean? Okay, Doc, okay. ano na din. So parang ang ano ni Doc Tami is, uh, parang even if sometimes you follow all the regimen that uh, you mentioned, di ba? Sometimes talagang may acne pa din? Yeah. Okay, so for teenagers, talagang because of the hormonal imbalance, so it will take time. Okay, so usually iba yung nagkakaroon pala ng menses, tapos yung mga teenagers, nagiging active na yung sebum nila. So this will, this will take time before it will normalize. Okay, so this regimen will also, will only help. Okay, so I always tell them, uh, this will hopefully prevent. Okay, but uh, it will not... Uh, it will prevent further acne. So, it will help them. Okay? So, ang problem kasi sa acne with teenagers, pag, pag pinabayaan mo siya, usually the scarring is very uh, traumatic to them. So, uh, with this regimen, it will help prevent uh, scarring sa skin nila. So, just recommend this routine. Tapos kung if ever talagang acne prone pa rin sila, maybe we can add some more to that one. Okay, but these are just the basic, okay, so parang basic skincare lang to. So each person is different pa rin. So if ever they need some more, maybe we have to add some more uh, medications for them. But for teenagers, uh, really cleansing really is important, especially for hormonal imbalance. Yes, okay. and I believe kapag po talagang medyo may ibang issue na yung mga bata o kaya or tayo, better, you know, consult. Okay, so punta yes. na tayo sa mga dermatologist katulad po ni... Or sa pedia, pwede kay Tami. Sa pedia, Si Dr. Tami po is a pediatrician. Oo. Okay, uh, Doc, ito naman po. Um, how long from Tots, Tots, Blanco, ah. Lagunay? How long should I try a product regimen to see if it works or not? One week, two weeks? Meron po bang ganun? Uh, usually, the minimum, we tell them two weeks, Okay. So two weeks up to a month. For me, if I give a regimen, I usually follow them up after a week, after four, after a month. Okay, but usually after two weeks, tinatanong ko lang sila if there are irritation or edit uh, or uh, usually irritation. Because syempre yung iba uh, sensitive ng skin, so they can get irritation. Okay, so two weeks we can do them, but uh, usually I follow them up after a month to see if it's working. 
if it's good, we'll continue. If not, maybe we have to change the regimen. Usually for me, I stay up to a month for the regimen. Ah, okay. So, and then, siguro talagang meron kayong na-experience na yeah. kakaibang effect, no? So, you can, di ba, parang rule of thumb, dama ba yun, Doc? Na pag may nakita kang any sort of irritation, maski sabihin pang it's good for your type of skin, stop. No? Yes. Oh, stop. Yeah, usually, uh, others, I tell them two weeks, just, ano, just update me for two weeks kung meron or wala. If not, a month natin titignan ulit. Okay. Thank you, Doc. All right, another question po from Kathy Antonio Terwell. Sorry, I I, yeah. if I mispronounced your surname. Hi, Dr. J. How do you prevent dry hands due to excessive use of hand sanitizers and alcohol? Yes, okay. Oh. Thank you po. Lahat tayo issue to, no, Doc? Yes, thanks yeah. for asking that po. Okay, so, thank you for that question. <laughs> so, yun nga, because of now, important tayo nag-alcohol palagi, di ba? So, uh, not only alcohol, important also is hand washing. Okay, so... We don't just rely on alcohol, which is very drying. So we can still use hand soap. So hand soap has moisturizers in it, so it helps also. So if ever mag alcohol ka, important also is to use moisturizers. Okay. So alcohol dries up your skin, so you can add a moisturizer to it. Okay. So ang moisturizer naman is sterile. Ah, uh, hindi naman yun nakakos ng bacteria. So again, balancing. So if ever you have dry hands, a moisturizer will help. Okay. The moisturizer also acts as a barrier to your hand, so it will help also prevention. So moisturizer, uh, besides your alcohol, will help for your dry hands. Oh. Doc, follow up lang dun sa question ni Miss Kat, uh, ni Miss Tots. May na na nakikita ako minsan alcohol with moisturizing, ganyan-ganyan. Yeah. Are those yeah. okay? Uh, yeah, okay naman siya kasi uh, depende na sa anong pagmamanufacture nila. So, alcohol with moisturizer is okay. So, but for me, you can use a plain alcohol, tapos you can just add a moisturizer on top of that one. Ah, okay. So, that's better para at least sigurado mo kung 70%. 70%. Yeah, 70%. Oh, uh, hindi mabawasan, no more or less. Oo. Alright. Um, last ni, ano, ni Doc Tami. Okay, kasi may clinic na din siya. Okay, so, yeah. uh, recommended sunscreen SPF for our weather. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, we, what we recommend usually is the SPF 24 or higher. Okay, mm. so 24 is the minimum uh, we recommend. Uh, usually, ngayon may 50, may 100. The, 50, the SPF 50 and SPF 100, not much difference. Ang problema lang doon is mas oily na if you get the SPF 100. Okay, ah. so for me, the minimum SPF is 24. Okay. Uh, if you get a higher SPF, it's okay, 100. That doesn't mean it's 100, 100% protection also. So if you're getting a 50 or a 100, a 50 is better than a 100. Wow, hindi ko alam yun, Doc. Ayaw ko lang na yan, ano yun, ha? Okay, thanks for that new knowledge. Okay, uh, Doc, Michael Sarmiento is in the house. Hi, Doc, daw po. Hi, Mike. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, Doc from Vivian, Pagunsan. Do you recommend diamond peeling for teenagers to lessen scaring? Siguro yung dahil nagka-pimple sila. For teenagers. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so diamond peeling is like exfoliation na din eh. Okay. So exfoliation na rin siya. It can help but as long as you don't do it regularly. Sabi ko sa'yo, if you do exfoliation, you should you should have time for the skin to regenerate. Okay. So it will help but if, uh, it for me, uh, if for acne, acne prone skin, it's better to use pa rin products for acne. Okay, so diamond peeling will just enhance. Okay, don't use it as the main treatment. Oh, okay. So don't use it as a main treatment. It can help, but don't use it solely as a treatment for acne. All right, Doc. As a follow up to that, okay, so si Michael Sarmiento is asking. Um, yung di ba skin for exfoliation yeah. somehow that that one is uh, a way to do it. Now, how yeah. often should it be done? Not just you know diamond peel. Yung the usual yeah. uh, exfoliation as part of skin care. Okay, for skin exfoliation, it depends also on how you exfoliate the skin. Okay, so kung mild exfoliation ka lang naman, like the scrubs na hindi mo masadong nirarab sa skin, you can do it weekly. Okay, never daily. Okay, not daily, not recommended daily. Mm -hmm. The minimum is weekly, okay? If only for mild exfoliation, okay? But if yung mga grabe, 
Siguro mga every two weeks, at least every two weeks is recommended. But for only mild one, weekly is okay. But never daily. daily. All right. Thank you so much for that, Doc. Okay. Um, okay. Ito, Doc. Ah. Uh, Bumalik na si Dr. Tavi. Wakang, uh, what will happen to the order of application? When do you apply the vitamin C? Okay. So for me, for the regimen, so you have to do cleansing. Because if you have, you can do the toner. Then you can do the moisturizing. Then after moisturizing, then you add your vitamin C. Okay. Then after your vitamin C, your sun protection. Okay. So usually sun protection is the last. Tapos after that, kung, kung yung mga babae gusto mag-make a powder, you can put on top of that. Okay? Mm. So vitamin C, I recommend to put it before your sun protection and after your moisturizer. Alright. And and then after that, saka yung makeup. Makeup. You can put makeup. Basta sunscreen, gawin mong base, then makeup on top of that one. Alright. Paano, Doc, kung yung mga parang base na ginagamit namin na uh, either foundation or yung... Uh, powder na nakalagay powder, may sunscreen powder. na. Can we... Mababa lang yung mga SPF na yun. Usually, for makeup, it's just SPF 15. So, not enough. parang wala rin kwenta. Ah, it okay. can help, pero ako, I, I still suggest using a sun, uh, sunscreen muna. Alright. Yun lang problema talaga yung oily, oiliness. Pero believe me po, mas maganda na ang oily sa dry. Okay? Correct. Pagtanda yung katulad ko, you would wish for that oily skin. Alright. Anyway, um, Doc Tami, Doc is saying, thanks Doc Je, your advice will come in handy when I advise my teen patients. Thank you Doc Tami. I know you have a uh, clinic, cl start na ng clinic hours ni Doc Tami. Thanks for coming in th this morning Doc. Finally, Danny. Danny Ong is able to join us kasi hindi siya makapasok kanina sa YouTube. So, nakapasok na siya sa Mami Guide Inc. Okay, ang tanong niya po, Doc Je, what silicone products would you recommend for scars? Scars, okay. For, so, uh, silicone products, uh, meron tayo for scars in the market. Usually, we have silicone sheets. Yung mga iba may keloid. So, it really depends. So, May mga gel na may silicone din. So, pwede rin yun. It helps also. Pero pag malalaking scars, usually we, re we recommend the silicone pads na. Uh -oh. Okay. So, siguro uh, eventually para better, ano, patingin nyo muna sa doctor. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Pwede para ko ano scar din siya. Uh -oh. And then follow up ni Danny. What about lubric silicone lubricants? Is it better than the water-based ones? Pati yung by silicone lubricants. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa face po rin ba ito? Sandali, Dani, ha? Kailangan mo munang i-clarify yan. Okay, let's go for ayin. Ayin. Doc, should I always follow the complete set of beauty regi uh, regi regimen products? O yan, medyo tinanong ko kanina, o. Oh. Or is it okay to combine it with other products? Ah, ang gusto niya yung i-combine with other. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, since sometimes, okay, ulitin natin. Since sometimes I don't feel using what's on the list. And gusto niya, uh, 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 what I, I like most, I mean the brand. So parang may gusto siya dito sa siguro sa isang brand na to, tapos dito sa isang brand. Is that okay? Uh, for me, it's okay. Kasi depende nga on what type of product. So kumari, may hiyang kang cleanser dito sa ibang brand. So gamitin mo siya. Tapos may hiyang kang toner sa ibang brand. Pwede mo rin siyang gamitin. Tapos kumari sa isang brand, may hiyang ka rin moisturize. Kasi hiyangan din siya eh. Okay. Ah, okay. So, it's a cosmetic. So, iba-iba ingredients niya. So, iba-iba rin ang reaction sa skin mo. So, yung iba, okay, yung yung cleansers nila, pero hindi ka naman okay sa toner. So, pwede ka mag-shift to other products. So, you don't have to buy the whole pack right away. Pero usually, I recommend just buy the small pack first para to see kung okay sa skin mo. Kung okay siya, then go for the big packs. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're actually going over time na, guys. no. So, last few questions. Please post them kasi after that, um, eto na po. If you want to, you know, do a consult with Dr. Chexi and enjoy the way he has explained our skincare regimen for today. Okay? Um, um, you can follow him sa Facebook niya, Dr. Jesse Chua. All right, and uh, for e-consult, you can ask your, uh, you can message him there. Pano po yung procedure? Now for face-to-face -face, um, consult po uh, by appointment only at JP Shawson General Hospital for now. 
And of course, if you like what you've seen so far, okay, this is one just one of the segments of Mummy Guide Inc. We also have Wednesdays and Saturdays Crafty Nights with Mommy Lala and Friends. And uh, every every Friday afternoon, it's Mommy Essentials. And every Friday evenings, 8 o'clock, we have Mommy Mompreneurs, all right? So follow us at Facebook, Mommy Guide Inc., and Instagram, Mommy Guide Inc., and YouTube also, of course, Mommy Guide Inc. All right. So going back, Doc. Okay, last few questions. Um, okay, so sig siguro we'll with Doc Tammy's question again for today. So yung exfoliation and preparation na may beads daw po. Di ba sometimes may parang may mga beads yeah. to exfoliate? O yung container na may brush, will the following recommend? Will, what? Ano po to? Will follow? What will Sorry, hindi ko alam. Okay. We'll follow the uh, recommend time of exfoliation. exfoliation. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yung iba, di ba, yung exfoliation natin na may beads, yung scrub na tinatawag natin. Uh -huh. So, usually scrubs, if just mild, I, I don't recommend talagang irarab mo yun eh. Okay? Kasi magkakasugat ka na. So, just do a mild scrubbing. Weekly is okay. Okay? Tapos ngayon yung meron tayo, yung, pang, yung may brush brush. What weekly also is okay kasi yung sa brush na yon parang foam based naman siya it's not that abrasive so mild exfoliation lang din siya so weekly is mm -hmm. is still okay with that one Grabe doc with so much learning for today no this morning hindi lang basta yung regimen kumbaga the reason behind it and it's not just you know washing your face putting all of these things sabi nga ni doc, doc there's even things that we need to do inside so yung proper diet and other things that we need to do so again, thank you so much, Doc Jesse Chua. All right, for coming in today so early in the morning. Normally, po, di sila lumalabas ng ganito kaaga, but because he's a very dear friend, uh, okay, and dermatologist ka din po. Okay, gorgeous na sila, mamilala maski po ako ay uh, menopause na. <laughs> okay, he takes care of me also. Thank you so much, Doc Je. Okay, thank you, mamilala. Sparting words about skincare, Doc, before we let you go. Okay, thank you, Mami Lala, for this opportunity. So again, uh, 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 each patient is different. So iba-ibang regimen ang kailangan nila. Mm -hmm. So it's better to consult your doctor for any regimen that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all. So thank you. Thank you for listening. All right. And with that, thank you so much. Have a blessed weekend. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thanks for listening, Mami Guys. Bye. 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 Bye.